here at Tough World Arena. Uh, big win here tonight for the Lady Bucks. Uh, Coach Collins, it was a great game this uh, season. Great game uh, tonight especially. Uh, how do y'all feel right now? Um, we feel really good about the win. You know, it's the end of the season. It's execution time. I, I told the girls before the game, it's fourth quarter of the year. Right. And so right now is everything you got. And they went out there and gave it everything they had. Definitely. And that was an incredible win, 20-point win, as y'all won 77-57, uh, correct? That's correct. Right? Uh, yep. Something on the scoreboard. Uh, girls, how do y'all feel right now? I feel good. Feeling good? Trying to, we're trying to make a statement because right. we didn't start the season off well. So now we have to finish it well. Definitely. Uh, so far, season hasn't really gone too good, but it's been a pretty good season so far. Y'all have worked hard. Y'all done <coughs> the best y'all can. And, uh, you know, what's it been like for y'all so far? Hmm. It's tough. I mean, you know, I mean, it's, losing is always tough. Definitely. But, like you said, I mean, the season is 20-some-odd, is 30-some-odd some games. Right. And so it's not always how you start. It's how you finish it. The games that matter at the end of the year, and right now we plan on grinding it out and going as far as we can go. We're gonna ride this thing till the wheels fall off. Wheel. That's what we're gonna do. Definitely. Yep. And uh, right now, girls, uh, this season has been a tough one, especially for y'all. Uh, you know, out there on the court, y'all have been uh, Jasmine Williams. You've been coming in and out. Uh, John Lewis, you, you started some games. Uh, you know, what's the season been like for y'all? Um. It, uh, the games that we lost, they wasn't really blowouts. They was always close games, so it wasn't really like a bad loss. But I feel like we've been fighting, and we haven't gave up because if we have, we wouldn't be in this position where we're at now. But I feel like if we always keep staying together and keep playing together and not quitting, I think we'll have a pretty good season. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's something that we've always knew. If nobody else knew that we deserved to win, we knew. And so that's why we didn't quit, and that's why we kept grinding it out. You know, when you bring in, and, and there are two returners on this team from last year. That's it. Everybody there else is just new. Two. Yes, yeah. just two returners from last two, year. There's just one. Yeah, there's just two returners on this team yeah. from last year. And so everybody's new, getting the chemistry together, learning a new coach, learning a new system. That takes time. And so, you know, would it have been nice to have had it click early? Absolutely. But it didn't. But the reality of it is, it is clicking. And it did click. And so, like I said, we're just going to play it out. And we're going to see what happens. Yeah, definitely. Well, and I mean, I saw this too. You know, starting out at the beginning of the season, especially traveling on the road, uh, this is basically a new team, only with uh, two returners. Even with that, it's still basically a brand new team. Mm -hmm. And y'all have just come together, really know how to bond together. Y'all created sort of a chemistry together. Yeah. Uh, you know, right from the start, were things just a little bit rough? Everyone's kind of not really knowing what to do. Is you know, yeah. what, was, what was things like at the beginning? Oh, no, it was a huge learning curve for everybody involved, for me as the coach, for them as players. Right. And, you know, everything takes time. The great thing about it is nobody quit. I didn't quit on them. They didn't quit on me. Everybody just kept going, definitely. and this is why we have what we have now. Well, that's definitely a good thing. Uh, now, it's this is the big question I like to ask all the teams right now. Uh, has anyone got any offers? Anyone looking at playing at the next level right now? Yes. yes. All of our kids are looking to play on the next level. We do have um, – Four young ladies with um, offers. Both of them have offers from Tennessee State. Um, Joy has an offer from Delaware State. Um, and Bree has an offer from Tennessee State. And so we're still looking. I mean, that's that's the whole goal of this. We want to win as many games as we possibly can and get them as much exposure as they possibly can. When they leave on, I want to be able to go to a four-year game and see Motlow State next to somebody's name and hear their name being called. You know, yeah. so this is just the training ground here. And once they get out there, I expect it to carry over, and I expect to see this production wherever they go. Yes, yeah, definitely. And for a junior college, that is one of the biggest things. Uh, so, so far, uh, going into the Tennessee Community College Athletic Association Tournament, uh, what are what is your outlook on that right now? What are y'all planning on doing? I think it's fair game for anybody. Mm -hmm. Like um, Jana said, you know, there was nobody that really blew us out of the game or that we played that we were like, gosh, it's impossible, we can't beat them. Right. Everybody we squared up against, we felt like we could beat. You know, just like I said, some things just weren't clicking. The ball just didn't fall at the right time. Our timing was a little off. But now we've gotten to the point where we've executed. We know what it's like to have good execution. We know what it's like to fight through a game. And so we're ready. This is the yeah. best time to be playing your best basketball. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was a time, if I had to choose the beginning of the season or end of the season, I'll take end of the season. Definitely. Uh, now, players, Jasmine.
got some letters. We're gonna start with you. Okay. You've been quiet almost this entire interview. Yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna ask you, you know, uh, Coach Collins has given her input about the tournament. Uh, how are you feeling so far? I'm feeling excited. Um, I feel like we're gonna make it far. We got our chemistry together, so now it's just time to play basketball. Things are looking, starting to look better right now. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, Gianna, what about you? I feel like the team bonding is getting stronger. We're sharing the ball more, and I feel like when we share the ball more, we get better looks and better open shots. And I feel like we're having more fun on the court mm -hmm. and more talking. Like, and I just feel like the more we talk and more excited because the game, the game is a run, so it's going to be back and forth. But we ain't letting it take us down. We're trying to fight back, and we're not giving up. We have never gave up in a game. We have always played, and we'll be down 20 at halftime, and we always end up coming back or losing by, like, six or two. We have never gave up. We've never been a quitting team. So that's one thing I like, and that's why I feel like we're getting far because we haven't gave up. True. Yeah, and I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, but definitely, now since this may be the only interview, I'm going to go ahead and ask Pop the question. Uh, what is the outlet? Like? You ask us the mayor, you will. All three of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just going to ask uh, for next season, uh, what are things looking like? Are you feeling that there's some people who can stay? Are there people who can leave? You know, what, what's going to happen? Well, we only have, um, let, me, let me think in my head, we have three, I believe, freshmen. Mm -hmm. So they'll be returning. Everybody else is gone. Okay. And they'll go off into their new endeavors. And I'm excited. You know, Jana will be returning. Um, she's leading us in scoring this year. I expect her to to really dominate the game next year. She comes in as a freshman and plays this well. As a sophomore, her best days of basketball are ahead of her. Yeah. Um, and then we still have uh, two other young ladies that will be returning for us. And then you'll see a lot of new faces, but <laughs> which you which you w won't change. I can promise you this. Uh, we're gonna play hard. We're not gonna quit, and we're gonna win basketball games That's here, Milo. Like Bottom answer. line. <laughs> yes. Uh, now, girls, uh, what, what are y'all's plans, especially you know, if you're going to stay at Milo, or what's y'all's plans for the future? I'm going to be returning, mm -hmm. and I want to go to a four-year school after next year. So. Okay. So you're just kind of keeping your options open right now? Yes, I'm keeping them open. Yeah. I haven't okay. signed anywhere. No, she hasn't signed. Well, she's had a lot of interest, and in so oh. we're excited. And, you know, I mean, she should. She is the third leading scorer in the conference. And uh, after today, she should move up and rebound. She was sixth yeah. going in today, and so she should okay. move up. Yeah, that's definitely good. You know, and uh, on Twitter and on the line, uh, a lot of people talk about the men's basketball team. You know, they're definitely, you mm -hmm. know, in the national poll right now mm -hmm. uh, for uh, Hutchinson, Kansas, going back. And y'all were that the latest team from last year was in Lubbock, Texas. And are y'all feeling good about going to Lubbock, Texas this year for the national tournament? Yeah. Yeah. We're taking it one game at a time, mm -hmm. well, but we feel good. And we're planning on winning it out. Definitely. Uh, Jasmine Williams, what's your plans for the future? Um, I plan on going to a four-year to finish my education in accounting. Okay, so, that's great. Yeah. Uh, definitely. So you're just going to focus on education? No. No, she's uh, going to play basketball. Hopefully I could play she's basketball. She's going to play. Oh, yeah, yeah. you're going to try and play basketball? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <coughs> well, sir, so you're going to be focusing on both, definitely, being yeah. a student athlete. Yeah. That's really good. All that's right, what so we, we have here, Will. We have student <laughs> athletes. They come here, well, they're going to play basketball. They're going to play basketball on the next level. It's always student first, athlete yeah. second. Yeah. Yeah. These young ladies are going to play. All, all of them are going to play basketball in the next level. Definitely. Now, uh, last question. I asked Coach Bart Walker, the head coach from last year, I asked him a random question. I'm going to ask y'all a random question. This may or may not have to do with athletics, but it's just a random question that y'all want to ask. It's going to be a little fun. Uh, Fergie sung the national anthem mm -hmm. in the NBA <laughs> playoffs the other night. Uh, it's very, very interesting. What's, what's y'all's opinion on it? I feel that she was just trying to do something different. Like, because everybody sings the same thing. So she tried to make herself feel different than other people. Because yeah. everybody sings the same exact words. Right. So what makes you different from the other people that sung the year before that? And that's what she tried to do. And you see that she was out there. Everybody's talking about her. So she must did something to get attention. And that's right. what she did. It definitely is. I feel like she could have did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, she is a professional singer. Yeah. Just, you know, maybe, just, like you said, just trying something mm -hmm. different. Trial and error. Yeah. It yeah. Just, just didn't really go her way. Collins, you have anything to say? No, I agree with Jan. I think she tried something different. <laughs> I think Fergie's version of the national anthem was indicative of our country. It was, you know, very diverse. She went from one note to the other note, a different style. It was a melting pot of right. a lot of stuff. <laughs> and so we just have to respect that. Very, very well 
thank you all for being on. Are there any last words y'all want to say right now? No, we just want, I, I want to thank everybody for being supportive. Yes, thanks for watching. Yes. Yes. Good, good game, ladies. Yes. Thanks, Will. We appreciate your support as well. Thank you. Go Bucks. Bye.